Yes, I am not only a supporter, I'm a member of Trot Unlimited, which is one of the seven partner groups for the conservation project. I have uh, long made it known that if, that my property is available as a donation for uh, matching grant funds. In fact, I've donated some of it already, just the downstream section of Superior Road along the Pilgrim. We have a forever open as public access. I have contributed financially to it. Um, I think it's a wonderful opportunity to keep almost 1,500 acres of uh, wooded land with a wonderful trout stream close to the biggest population center in Oden available for the public in perpetuity. Okay, thank you. Um, and the same question on the master plan that we've asked the other candidates, the Port Township Planning Commission is in the process of updating its master plan. What do you think are the most crucial issues which need to be addressed in the new plan? Uh, Green Acres Road and the road that goes through Main Street, Dodgeville, down to Town, the area between those is largely the only area in Portage Township that is zoned manufacturing. And uh, a lot of it is old um, minefield and brownstone areas. Uh, more people who move here move into the country because of the open space and uh, the quiet. And if we are ever going to have uh, more small businesses or any small industry, the only manufacturing land in the zoning ordinance is right there where they often offer, where there also are utilities, water, sewer, and power. So. Um, Reconciling how people want to live and the need for that um, is an issue that the master plan has to address. Thank you. Okay. Um, okay, here's an audience question. I'll see. Bear with me. I'm trying to focus. Okay. Uh, Bruce mentioned the township won the lawsuit with Valley View Quarry. Did the case go to court? How do you feel the township won? And is the Valley View Quarry operating? That's a lot for a minute. Uh huh. <laughs> Can I just do the first half? Divide it in two. Uh, okay. Let's divide it in two. Okay. Regarding the court case, uh, <clears throat> our attorney, Nick Dalvatala, advised the township that. If we did not enforce our zoning ordinance, we would be sued by the citizens, lose that case, and then have to enforce the ordinance. We took uh, Mr. Moyle and Alan Corey to court, and we won on all points, uh, namely that they were not grandfathered in, there was no history of gravel operations in Section 16. The fact that Bill Bingham had given them permission, permission was not his to give, that had no standing in court. The fact that they had been operating there illegally uh, for a period of time did not blossom into a legal right and that the township was not guilty of exclusionary zoning, meaning the township could not outright prohibit those type of operations and had to provide a place for them to occur, which it did in this farm forest zone area where the resource was found to exist. So we won in court and the judge issued a cease and desist because on all those points of law, the township was proven right. Okay, and I guess the only thing in here that wasn't answered is, is it operating? Uh, as Bruce said, the township attorneys negotiated all through the winter a consent judgment, different than a special use, the consent judgment attaches to the land and means that anybody that owns that property in the future and operates a quarry would have to, in theory, abide by the terms uh, in the consent judgment. The quarry has been operating since early August. I think we, we signed the consent, the judge signed the consent judgment in uh, late July. Um, some of the terms of consent judgment are being observed. Uh, some of the berms are being built. Uh, there are still issues to be resolved, but uh, we're optimistic that the concerns will be met. Thank you. Um, a rather general question on how do you see mining impacting the township? Uh, I, 
guess not a whole bunch because the bulk of the historic copper mines that were in the area are not in Portage Township. They were from Baltic South Range to the southwest, which is where all the uh, uh, Painsdale mines were. Uh, the mines that existed in the copper country were the Iroyal royal mines, which are now like pretty much under this school. There used to be a mine rock pile here when I was a kid. Um, under the Gunlock Perry's place, there used to be a big mine rock pile there. So, uh, I'm not sure the technology exists to do hard rock mining underneath where there is now lots of people.